Excuse me, guys. I think all three of you are extremely beautiful, but you especially caught my attention. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Okay. Three of us. Together. It's a package deal. Yeah. I'm, I I have a package deal. I like the fact that he was able to compliment all three, but honing in to the one in the middle. Uh, approaching three women could be kind of risky, especially if you're only going after one. But then you have the other two that could potentially be mother hens kind of blocking the scenario. Uh, so I like the way he did that. But let's keep going. Take all three. It sounds amazing. I got Where are you guys coming from? Um, our hotel. We just got here about an hour ago. Oh, do you guys have a tour guide yet? No, we don't need one. Okay. Well, I've been living here for three years, so. Oh, well, yeah. maybe we. Maybe we do need a tour guide. Maybe tall, handsome. What, the, what does this come with? Uh, you know, dinner, movie, maybe a strip show if you guys are lucky. Oh, we were talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> sure. uh, okay. I love it. I love it. I'm headed to the gym right now, but if you want to give me your number, we could meet up later. I can show you guys a good time. Okay. Sounds good. And That's what... good. <laughs> Is it a United States number? Yes. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you guys. All right. we'll, we'll talk later. Okay. I like the way that he came in confident in this situation. He was also able to future pace the women to a future event, kind of giving the drama and excitement because as we know, women love the fantasy. So the fact that he was able to kind of capture that in that short period of time, that was kind of cool. This is what it's like talking to a man on Hinge and why I will probably be single and alone forever. So this guy, John, had a prompt and it said, what I would love to know about you is what book are you reading at the moment? So I was like, amazing. I'm in my reading era. I like reading. We can chat. We have a nice conversation about books. So I sent the first message. I said, hey, John, what's up? Right now I'm reading Animal Farm. I'm trying to reach my reading goal for the year and it's only 100 pages. You? Very good. I'm reading Bullshit Jobs by whoever this bloke is. Very good. That's all I get from this. Just very good. Doesn't want to know, oh, what's your reading goal for the year? Doesn't want to know, are you enjoying the book? Nothing. Doesn't actually care. Uh, I'm so desperate and lonely that I power through. Is it any good? Give me an example of a bullshit job. Most corporate work. Cool. This is the part where I lose the will to live, but I was like, you know, I'm just gonna ask him one more question. I'm gonna give him one more chance to ask me something. So very basic, I just asked, do you read a lot? I would do, yes. I said, John, are you planning on asking me any questions or shall I continue the interview? <laughs> no, John does not reply. John, goodbye. What I don't understand about people on dating apps is I'm like, I'm giving you the questions. I'm giving, all you have to do is say, and you? And you, just a little, just pop a little, and you at the end. Do, do you like reading? Yeah, yeah, I do like reading. And you, flip it, flip it around on me. Now give me a turn, give me a chance. I'm, I'm desperate to, to tell you about how much I love reading, John. Yeah, John ain't feeling you, okay? John has checked out <laughs> before the conversation even started, okay? This is the typical conversation for the average guy, okay? A guy reaches out to a woman, a woman either just doesn't respond at all or she'll just give one worded answer. So just simply move on and keep it pushing. Quick story time while I'm walking to my car. So I was dating this guy and I realized that this guy didn't like me. Not early on, but it ain't take that long. Anyway, so one day I'm looking fire. I'm looking so good to meet my girls. So I FaceTime him so he can see what his lady look like. Expecting him to be like, oh my God, baby, you look so good. You look so pretty. Oh my gosh, where you going? Like, mm-mm get on the phone with this man and he like didn't say nothing about how good I look. So I was like, you know, I called you to show you how cute I am. This man said, that's a nice blue in your shirt. I said, are you well? So I literally said, you know what? I'm gonna get off the phone with you and I'm gonna call somebody that can tell me that I look good. Cause I know I look good, but I wanted to hear from you. So I'm gonna call one of my girlfriends. Before I could even get on the phone with one of my girlfriends, one of my old teens calls me, FaceTimes me. Immediately, that man is like, oh, you look beautiful. Where are you going? And some of y'all might be thinking, girl, you, you was a little OD, okay? If you knew you look good, why did you need your man to tell you? Because he was my man. And I want him to see how good I looked. And then I want him to tell me how pretty, pretty princess I was. But after he did it, I was like, am I tripping? Am I, am I tripping? But then my old teen, Jumped on the phone and was like, oh, you look beautiful. You look so good. Where are you going? Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
time. Sir, I'm missing that at home. Don't play with me, I'm vulnerable. So basically you concluded that he didn't like you because he didn't give you a compliment? Really? It wasn't good enough that you were his woman. He had claimed you as his woman. Okay, probably taking care of you, taking you out, buying you things, so on and so forth. The fact that he didn't give you a compliment, <laughs> you thought that he didn't like you? Really? You see, these modern women want you to read signs. They want you to be mind readers in regards to what they're thinking. Instead of opening up her mouth and saying, hey, do you like my outfit? Do you like my hair? Do you like my makeup? Okay, she wants you to think of what she's thinking <laughs> in order to please what she's thinking. As you heard her say, she had a ting on standby, meaning she had a guy for this very same reason, to give her free validation, be a beta orbiter, just in case. So remember I told y'all I had one more talk of stage in me, one more relationship and that was it. I think I'm through. I think I'm through. I can't even get to the to the uh, talker stage because everybody not looking for nothing serious, not looking for a relationship, not looking for a girlfriend. What you looking for, a homeboy? Oh, no, no, no. They're looking for somebody they can just suck and fuck on and have no obligations and no commitment to, which I don't know who the fuck looking for because I give all types of wife over here. I'm tired. I'm tired of just, you know what I'm saying? having a good time with somebody and they kicking them out of my house because I don't do sleepovers and move-ins. That's one thing. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying, cook breakfast for somebody, ask somebody how they like their eggs. I want somebody to be asking me what I'm cooking for dinner tonight and tell me they coming for a plate. I'm trying to go out. Yo, them seashells are distracting. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, Yeah, what is that? Is that a necklace or some sort of uh tribal thing, religious thing? Y'all comment below. Let me know. No, everybody know I got a plus one because they know I go everywhere with my men. It's giving why? What's wrong? What's wrong? Can the men just come to the check and y'all come talk to me for a second? Like, what is it? It can't be the goals. I got goals too. Yo, you need to learn how to delegate your feelings and compartmentalize what the f you got going on. Y'all need to learn priorities. Learn how to communicate. You got to hang with them every day. I just, here's my thing. I really would like to know like so y'all get get into the comments y'all let me know but i just i it's an epidemic it's an epidemic what they say it's an epidemic if i can get the right i think she has some valid points here the problem is it's the messenger okay it's the person that's actually saying the message okay she's kind of coming off very masculine and aggressive now i'm not too sure if it's just for the camera uh for the video or if this is who she really is but you know, she's kind of giving off a Netflix and chill kind of vibe based on what she's saying here. And it seems like guys are not really taking you serious beyond the physical. So instead of pointing the finger at men, right, you got to really look within and figure out what you need to fix. Okay. Because you need to be chose in order for you to get married. A man has to choose you. And if certain men are choosing you that are not serious then you really need to figure out why that is i literally just hopped out of a moving car because i was on the date from hell okay like when i tell you i didn't even wait for this man to pull over he was over an hour late for our date really she tucked and rolled out of a moving car over an hour late to our date i should have known then to just cancel the shit because you're not respecting my time however i overlooked it because i'm like oh my god i've known this person since high school you know um and he's communicating with me letting me know like hey i'm gonna be you know this amount of minutes late like you know he's calling me texting me letting me know what's up because there's traffic you know we live here in la shit happens he's coming off work whatever so i was cool with it i was like all right cool you're being communicative like i'll still continue the date he comes to pick me up over an hour late and when i get in the car we hug hey nice to see you haven't seen you in a while like you know good to see you right and then i let him know like hey like you're an hour late like next time like please don't show up so late because like i won't like go on a date like i was being firm i wasn't being a bitch. i wasn't being condescending i wasn't yelling i wasn't being aggressive none of that shit i was just letting him know like hey i'm a very punctual person my time is valuable to me and if you're gonna tell me you're gonna be here at six o'clock don't show up past six okay don't show up at especially seven o'clock an hour later and do you know that this man turned his car around like i'm taking you back home like who do you think you are telling me that i can't be late pick you up to a date i drove 30 minutes to pick you up and i i paid for these tickets and blah 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 blah, blah. and who do you think you are who the f 
do I think I am, sir? Like, this is why they warn you don't ever date the person that has chased you for a long time, that has wanted you for a long time. I think that's Cap. You probably came in hot and aggressive the moment you stepped into that car. You probably didn't approach the situation from a empathy perspective. Hey, what happened? Everything okay? Why are you late? Seeking first, then to understand. You probably came in hot and heavy uh, with a aggressive demeanor. And based off of that, he probably said, hey, let me go ahead and turn this car around because, you know, I'm not going to stand for anyone talking to me in this way. That's what probably happened. But let's keep going. Because they're usually crazy. I jumped out of a halfway moving car tonight because I could not get away from this man fast enough. And I left his door wide the f open and he like busts a b in the middle of the street and like peels off. What the f is wrong with you, man? Are you seriously mad because someone told you don't be an hour late to picking them up? The woman that you've been chasing for over 20 years finally gives you the time of day. I feel like this is one of those moments where he had it in his mind the whole time to play in my face because he wanted to get back at me from 20 years ago or something. Now, mind you, this is not an ex. I've never done anything to this man. I've never slept with him, never kissed him, never like curved him in any type of way, never played with this man's emotions. But I feel like because he didn't have access to me for over 20 years, when he finally got the opportunity, he wanted to like show me who's boss okay all right guys so there you have it her rationale behind this is he waited 20 years okay he plotted and waited <laughs> for this very moment to turn the car around yeah i showed her 20 years later i mean it's ridiculous okay complete ridiculous and from the guy's perspective he was probably disrespected okay by the theatrics of this story you tucking and rolling out of a moving vehicle um yeah all right guys so let's check out some of these comments first commenter says this dude definitely dodged a bullet next commenter says it's the entitlement next commenter says i understand where you are coming from but have some grace he already was in communication with you all right guys go ahead and give me some feedback in the comment section below and until next time